Zambran and in this tutorial series we're going to talk about the Laravel for beginners. Uh, this tutorial series is going to include everything about Laravel. Uh, what is Laravel? Uh, what are different model views, uh, controllers in Laravel? Uh, how to create a CRUD functionality in, in Laravel? Uh, how to upload images? How to make projects? Uh, what are routes? So all about databases, you know, uh, you're going to know everything about it. So this is going to be for the beginners who have not really used uh, Laravel before and it's going to be the fresh uh, start for them. Okay, so let's begin. So I have included all the notes for this uh, tutorial series onto my site. Uh, I have been getting a request from all of the students that uh, please do include the notes uh, so that we can refer to that. So I've included that. If you go to my site, uh, imransayer.com, click on tutorials. Uh, it will give you an option to choose to Laravel, find out more, and you will see that you know you will have this tutorial here. I'll keep adding more stuff here as we proceed with the series. So, what is Laravel basically? So, Laravel is a MVC framework. It's a free open source PHP framework. Uh, MVC. I'm sure people who have worked with Code Igniter would know that it's a model view controller uh, framework, and it was created by uh, this Laravel was created by Taylor. Well, in uh, 2011, so it was six, six or seven years ago. Six years, yeah, almost, almost seven years, I think. Yeah, almost seven years ago, and it was intended for development of, uh, uh, you know, web applications uh, using the model view controller structure. Okay, and it was based on on Symfony. Okay, and uh, if you go on to the HTTP as Laravel.com, you will have all the documentation related to Laravel over here. Uh, the best part is that uh, Laravel provides you with very good documentation. It's one of those languages where you get all possible documentations for Laravel. And whenever they come with a new uh, version, you'll always have uh, the documentation ready for you to use. And uh, the other good stuff about Laravel is that there's a lot of information available in case if you're stuck. Uh, so the ecosystem of Laravel is brilliant. Uh, you can go ahead and go onto stack or you know just google it whatever problems you're stuck with and and most of the time you will definitely find answers for it uh, I did whenever I wanted to uh, current version is 5.6 so this is what we will discussing in this tutorial series okay so coming back on to this so what is this model view controller uh, model view controller is basically uh, allowing you to uh, you know show the data to the user in a specific pattern. So MVC is basically a structural uh, architectural pattern and uh, it divides the uh, system into three parts. Uh, so one you have uh, the model and then you have view and then you have controller. Uh, so we're going to be specific about Laravel in this because there are other MVC frameworks as well but since we are discussing Laravel we will talk about how does things work in Laravel when it comes to MVC framework. Okay, so whenever you make an HTTP request, for example, if you go to your site, okay, uh, then that request is made through a route. A route generally exists in web.php. Uh, that route will be, uh, you know, asking the controller to perform some task. And this controller uh, is going to go ahead and interact with the model. Uh, model is going to go ahead and get all the information from the database. Uh, this information it will be fed back to the controller. Controller will perform some tasks like a CRUD functionality, create, read, update, and delete. And once it performs the task, it will go ahead and pass on to the information to view. And this view is going to go ahead and render that HTML content uh, after we apply our styles and JavaScript and things like that uh, back to the user. Uh, so that page will be displayed over here. So this is basically the structure that goes over here, HTTP request goes through a route to controller, controller to model, model interacts with the database, gets the information, passes to controller, all the uh, you know action is performed over here, uh, this, and then it's rendered to view, view gets rendered over here on the browser. Okay, that's basically the structure. So if I had to say it in uh, short, then model is basically a data structure, uh, you know, uh, that will provide you all the functionality of database. A view is the presentation, okay, the presentation that you see on, on the uh, internet, on the browser. And controller is the intermediate between the model view and other resources. So it's an intermediate that, uh, you know, interacts with the model and the view uh, and uh, etc. Okay, great. Uh, so the next thing we're going to discuss uh, will be 
artisan. Okay, so what is this artisan? You will keep hearing about this artisan as we proceed in this tutorial series. Artisan is basically the name of the command line interface. It is a CLI just like you have in WordPress and other uh, languages. Similarly, you have a, a command line interface called Artisan provided with Laravel and it provides us with a lot of helpful commands that you can use uh, to interact with database, to perform actions, to create controllers, to create views, etc. Okay, it's driven by powerful Symfony console uh, component. Great, so I think uh, it's pretty much good information about Laravel when it comes to introduction. In the next uh, series, in the next uh, tutorial, uh, you will know how to install uh, Laravel on uh, the um, normal Windows as well as on the Mac uh, using uh, Wally. Okay, I'll see you then.